Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, the community is enraged. The community is incensed. Uh, and it was actually something I didn't even spot until I started to see some of the feedback raining in. So Raid put out their patch notes yesterday. Um, and, oh, I didn't spot it. It was like one of the lower down bug fixes. You know, when you're kind of like reading through bug fixes, didn't really see anything too hairy. Until we saw this, fixed a bug that caused the Hydra's almighty decay skill not to destroy enemies' max HP up to 75%. That's one thing people are annoyed about. The other thing is not everybody's got access to the live beta of the, uh, sorry, the live arena, all the new stuff going on there. So some people really want to get involved and they can't and they're pissed. Piss off. Let's talk about the Hydra skill first because... Firstly, if you're just the dev, yeah, if you're just the dev of this game and someone said to you, make sure you squash a few bugs this month, yeah, let's go to the, the Hydra Heads abilities, uh, which we've had on hellhades.com forever. Like since they came out, we did this update. Well, I'm on the one here for the Head of Decay, yeah, and it actually reads, whenever an enemy champion is healed, decreases their max HP by 15%. Of the value of the heal up to 75 percent of their max hp it's actually been written there since day one and you know when we were doing that kind of like write up of what should you do we were like be careful with your healing because you could heal yourself to death yeah and that's that's basically an issue now it's not been working like that it's only been actually it's been doing the reverse it will instead of 75 percent, it's actually been 25 percent that you could destroy. Now the trouble is, there's a lot of ways to heal in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to heal in this game. It could be smacking something that's got leech on it. It could be using lifesteal gear. It could be someone straight up healing you, whatever. It's, it's really, really harsh. The change is massive for the community. In fact, I've got a clip here showing off. Uh, let's bring this back to the start. A clip here showing off a royal guard hitting Hydra heads. This is from Saf, by the way. I'm going to share Saf's video where he does an in-depth analysis of this because it's a brilliant video. Brilliant video. I'll share that down below. But this is just a clip of showing what can happen. So you see here we've got Leech on all of the heads. Royal guard's about to come in. I'm just going to take the speed down on this right to slow. So 0.25 speed. Royal guard's about to come in with one of his cannons, yeah, which is what we want from a royal guard. He's going to do his A2, wind it up, and then hit. And because everything's got leech on it, we're basically going to take a massive chunk of our, our max HP. So you see, he goes right down, he takes a smack of his max HP has gone down because he's hit the enemies. Okay, that, It was always a thing, it's just exaggerated now. In this, in this situ uh, situation, Saf's actually got Doom Priest in the mix here. She has got a level 6 blessing. And don't, you know, they've basically given us Miracle Heal Blessing to try and fix this. The only other way to fix this is if you've got Marishka. Yeah, Marishka gets your max HP back. Yeah, otherwise you've got to rely on either healers with Miracle Heal or you've got to find a different way to stay alive. Like shielding block damage all that type of stuff but you'd think here with ch a champion with the blessing that's been designed to improve this situation you think it would it, give us a lot of our max hp back watch this she's coming in with a nice juicy heal she didn't heal him she killed him she's killing him so miracle heal is not all it's made up to be in fact it pretty much kills you dead. It's, it's just a complete farce right now. This change absolutely needs to be reversed. Yes, the, the community's mad. But actually, for, for me, I think they're rightfully mad because this content is already hard. There's already, already a push to get people to do Hydra content. And, you know, some people were kind of winding up yesterday to do their keys. And they're like, I can't even do it anymore. Literally overnight with no warning. And literally, like, this is, it's not hidden because it's, it's there in black and white in terms of this is what we're going to do. But it's kind of hidden 
in terms of number four in the bug fixes. Honestly, you kind of skim through this stuff and you don't even know what's what's in there. What else is going on that we don't know about? What else is going on with the Zion Twins that we kind of skim over? It's a major, major change. A major change and the community is literally in uproar. So far, we've heard nothing. We've heard nothing from Raid about it because all that's happened is one of the devs has fixed a bug and then suddenly the community's blown up. Like, they don't... They, so far, the dev pretty sitting there. He's, he's having his morning cup of coffee. He's like, ah, I did a great job yesterday. Fix that bug that's been causing me issues. Yeah, he doesn't know yet. But the, the wave of noise will come back to them. And I would assume they're going to fix something here. Um, they have to. It, it just can't stay as it is. Either there needs to be a way to get this... Um, this where's, where's my picture? Either there needs to be a way that Miracle Heal actually works. That would be good. Or they need to kind of exclude some of the ways that you heal. So it might be that you know, a straight up you know, flash heal or something like that can destroy your max HP. I suggest it destroys way less than it does right now. Uh, it might be that we don't lose max HP for things like Leech, for things like Life Steal Gear. They're going to have to change the way it's coded. Otherwise, it's just a complete farce. I think... Losing up to 75% of your health is way too much. You know, 50% as an absolute max. Even then, it's a bit of a joke. If they lose up to 50%, I still feel like Miracle Heal should be able to fix it. At the moment, it's not really coded so that it fixes it. Uh, as I say, I will link Saf's video down below because he explains the kind of coding and the maths of it really well and comes up with some really good suggestions. So I'm not going to try and outdo that. Saf does a better job than I would. But currently, it's an absolute joke and it needs to be fixed. What's kind of amusing here is I'm literally like uploaded the video, YouTube's doing its checks, and then suddenly we get a, a ping in content creator chat. So they're addressing here this problem. And uh, I guess it's quite a decent turnaround of time, right? You know, they've realized that the community is absolutely mad with this one and they're going to do a change. So uh, I'll read it to you directly here. Hi everyone, we would like to address the recent Hydra changes. The fix in the recent update corrected a long-standing bug, kind of like what I was saying earlier, right? In which Almighty Decay destroyed the incorrect amount of HP. The formula was fixed and the passive now works. However, seeing this change has negatively impacted the already established teams uh, and Hydra dedicated healing champions. We made a decision to roll this back and um, basically we prefer the bug than the fix. Uh, which is actually well done, well done raid. Actually, well done raid for acting pretty damn quick um, in reversing the fix back to the bug, uh, so it can accurately represent a passives mechanic. These changes will be implemented in the nearest future, and we will tell you when that's happened. I guess the challenge for some people might be right now that a lot of people leave their hydra heads, their fights until the last possible minute, and we've only got like one day to go. So I'd imagine. I'm lucky I did mine early this week. I'd imagine a lot of people have not yet done their keys and they've got to try and deal with it over the next day or they miss out on rewards. Hopefully they do this fix like as soon as possible, but good job at least for getting the fix done and trying to alleviate some of that pain, Ray. Good job for, for listening and appreciating that, yeah, the dev was doing his job. Doesn't necessarily mean it was the right thing to do. And at least you've kind of like reacted to that. So well done. Um, Anyway, let's get on to talk about the arena. I guess the second thing that people are a bit pissed about here, uh, by the way, Forge Pass just gone live and it's defiant gear. This is really good gear for, um, can I show you what it does here? No, it's really good gear set for the kind of clan boss type of player, I guess, or, or for anyone really. It's, it's gear set that reduces the damage you take. Defiant gear, you take 15% uh, less damage from AoEs and you increase your defense by 10%, it's straight up an improvement on another good set, which is Stalwart, yeah? Or in addition to Stalwart, if you want it. As a two-piece set, it's a really good filler set. So that is definitely worth not necessarily buying the pack, but I think this is now pretty good value to buy if you were somebody who spends money. But definitely worth just at least doing the kind of top row and getting your stuff. So yeah, the second thing that people are pissed about here is Live Arena. Now, I said yesterday, maybe, I wonder if someone could even get this legendary champion in this first week. Turns out, I don't think that's possible to do, because you can only do a refill 
six times in a day. You just never would get to the points. And actually, it's going to take an active winning team at least a month to get to this dude, I think. You know, if they're just doing like a normal amount of battles a day. So this dude's probably going to be a little way away. Also, he's an arena-based champion. If you're not really into arena, then it's not that big a deal that you need to kind of fast push for him either. Um, people are pissed, though, that they didn't get involved in this. And it's like, you know, why are other people getting involved in the game that I'm not? I do get it if someone's an extremely active arena player. I get that full on. Yeah. Am I an active arena player? I do arena every day. Um, I push plat yesterday. Doesn't mean that I push plat regularly, though. I don't. And uh, I wouldn't class myself as, you know, a super active arena player, but I do do arena every day. I'm in the mix. I'm probably in the mix because I'm a content creator and most content creators seem to be in the mix. Yeah, we're showing people this stuff. Obviously, Raid want to hype it up. So I guess my, my reaction to this is I wouldn't be too down on it. You're going to get access literally next week. Yeah, it's a beta for a week. Then they're going to then they're going to look at it. You're not losing out on medals. They're going to be reset. So I wouldn't be too disappointed or too upset about it. I get you want to look at it. You want to try it. Um, but it's another week. It's, it's For me, I don't think that's such a big deal. Obviously, people are also pissed that when you go into a battle, you're facing potentially me. Yeah, or potentially someone who's got a bigger account than me. So, you know, there's a lot of level 100 accounts in here. There's a lot of people that are very active in the arena. And yeah, some people that perhaps are less active are facing big boy teams. Yeah, like I'm about to here. Um, and for me, it should be a relatively, you know, decent matchup, I guess. I should be able to hold my own against most people in the arena. But it doesn't mean that I definitely will. Uh, what do I want here? But yeah, basically, some people are pretty upset that they're having to try and face very high level opponents when actually they're not super high themselves. Like level 52 against level 100. Don't forget that we're all in the same rank right now. Give it, I'd say, a, a few weeks. And it will take a few weeks, but give it a few weeks of this uh, being live. And you know, pretty much after that, you're going to be in a position that you'll, you'll be able to you know, get yourself in the mix. You'll be fighting people that you should fight. So yeah, I wouldn't be too, again, too concerned about that. I get that people are pissed off about it. You don't want to fight someone that you've got zero chance to beat, but it's a brand new game mode. It's going to take a while for people to filter into their right sections. Maybe they should have just started people in different tiers. That might have made more sense, but then people would probably complain that, you know, they didn't get the, um, yeah, the tier for them. So again, it, it, I don't know. I don't know if you can really win, honestly. I don't know if you win with this one um who don't want to face here probably more too but yeah live arenas out there just for some beta testers i guess you know it's it's going to annoy some people i get it but i for this one i don't think it's such a big deal just from next week you're going to be able to play it um anyway let's do this fight and then we'll call it a day am i going to take take this guy down level 100 versus level 100 two revivers and a revive on Death Dude. Candy with the smacks. Candy with the smacks is a bit scary. He's not going to revive on Death. Giving my Orotus a bit of a turn. We just smack you down. Yes, we do. bringing his revives oh sorry my friend it's time for the lockout it's time for the lockout Turvold's getting ready Turvold is getting ready to strike um i think we're gonna come in here i will say um this is probably gonna feel rough now for the people that actually really are disappointed at the moment they're not able to play i'm enjoying live arena a lot actually it's it's definitely a different type of challenge it's slower people are going to find it slower you know if you're not really into arena then you're probably not going to be loving this there is a bit more tactical kind of thought to it because you're having to do a ban phase and all that type of stuff and yeah i am enjoying it more than normal arena 
that might fade. Yeah, it might be that actually it's it's less enjoyable. But um, for me, it's a bit more of a tactical fight, which is fun. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling. Um, hopefully, raid sort out this Hydra mess. Hopefully, uh, when people get involved in the arena, we're kind of spread out in a decent way so that you know people aren't pissed off that they're fighting whales and filthy krakens like me. But there you go, guys. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.